If you want to know why this place is called the City of the Dead, then watch this video until the end. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today we are in the Caucasus Mountains in the Chechen Republic in a place called Tsoipied. The place is also known in Chechnya as Melchkishnish, which translates to Graveyard of the Sun. But it also has another nickname and that's the City of the Dead. And that's because it has crypts full of skeletons. Now, nobody knows exactly what happened here, but there are quite a few theories and we are going to tell them to you today. So, let's go. But first of all, let me give you some more information about the city of the dead itself. So, uh, according to the information we have, it was built somewhere between the 14th and the 17th century. Also, the city is about 1200 meters above sea level. Or, if you're from America and you don't use the metric system, that's about 25 times the height of the Statue of Liberty. Apparently, there is also some evidence that leads us to believe that this city existed as far back as the 5th century. So, on my left, you can see one of those crypts. There are supposed to be about 50 of them in this city. And they are all full of skeletons uh, of people. Now, as I said earlier, no one knows for sure what happened to the people who, who used to live here. But there are many theories. And the first one is that the city was hit by the plague. So, once the people found out that there is nothing they can do against the plague and they started showing symptoms, they just uh, entered one of these crypts uh, in order to not infect all the other people and they just waited until their death. But, as I said, that's only one of the theories. So another theory is that back in those days, the people who used to live here, so the Chechens, they hadn't accepted Islam yet. So they weren't Muslims yet. And they used to worship the sun back in those days. And these used to be their graveyards. So they just... Uh, and each family had their own graveyard. So when one of your relatives died, you would put them in your family script. And this is just their graveyard. That's also a theory. So another theory is that they used to be Muslims. And for Muslims, it's necessary to bury their dead. So to bury the corpses. But in the mountains, as you can see, uh, the ground is very rocky. So it's very hard to dig a hole especially with the technology they had back then so basically just shovels and so they couldn't make a hole and that's why they had these crypts So, right behind me, you can see one of the two watchtowers which used to be present in this city. Uh, so, as you can see, it has undergone some reconstructions and it is still in a very good condition. But if you look over there, there is the second watchtower and all you can see, all that, all that there is left is ruins. So, if you ever visit these old places in Chechnya, you might wonder why the doors are so small. Not just in watchtowers, but also in normal houses. And there's actually a very good reason for this. The first reason is, uh, when attackers, when they want to get inside, they have to duck. And that's going to stop them from being able to defend themselves. So, that's reason number one. Reason number two is... Uh, to keep the heat inside when it's cold outside in winter if the door is smaller then the heat is going to stay inside better and the third reason is uh, So that if you enter the door you kind of have to bow uh, So that's like a sign of respect So if you look very carefully, you can see that over there in the mountains there are still some ruins left from what used to be buildings. So that means that people used to live there like 100, 200, 300 years ago. So people used to live all the way up over there. Okay. 
Okay guys, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the content or want to see more like this, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel and we will see you next time. Goodbye guys.